What is going on there guys? This is Rob and Kevin, the whole team here at 99 Problems, but a fish ain't one. Today we are fishing for some smallmouth bass here in central PA. Yeah, we're gonna be focusing on the Nedrig technique. Um, so stay tuned, we're gonna show you guys everything that you need to know about the Nedrig technique to successfully fish it in a small stream for some smallmouth. We're gonna talk about rigging, um, where to cast it, how to jig it, um, and even what company of plastics and hooks we like to use when we're fishing the Nedrig. All right, so what we're using today is a Ned Rig. Okay, the hook, we're gonna be using a 1 10th ounce hook by Z-Man. When you're fishing shallower water or pitching towards the bank, you're gonna to wanna to use 1 10th. If you're in faster moving water that's a little bit deeper, you're gonna maybe switch up to a 1 6th, maybe a 1 5th if it's extra deep. And then you're gonna have different jigs or plastics to put onto your jig. And right here, I just have a small crawl looking plastic but you also have your regular straight Ned rigs. You can use tubes, clears. Um, Ned rig has a really good set of products for the Ned rig. And what's so great about Z-Man is that their products are made of Elastec, right? So it's super stretchy. When the um, Ned rig hits the bottom, it's gonna stand up. A lot of the other companies, when they hit the bottom, they set and then they'll slowly fall down. Whereas the fish isn't gonna see or bite that. Whereas if it's standing up, and some of the top part is, is dancing around, the fish is more likely to come by and swoop that up. Talking real quick about rod and reel for throwing the Ned Rig, um, I recommend anywhere from a six foot six to a seven foot medium light rod with fast action, okay? That medium light is gonna give you full filling of that one tenth ounce jig head, as well as the one ounce, one point, uh, one fifth or the one sixth. The rod I use is the Fenwick HMG, six foot nine medium light fast action all right it is um i think perfect for the ned rig I've, I've really liked it when i started using it and i paired that with a 2500 shimano ultra gear um, with eight pound fluorocarbon right that fluorocarbon is going to help it sink a little faster um, super durable and with small mouth they fight super aggressive so that eight pound test is going to be strong enough to help fight them off so what i'm going to do here is i'm pitching into a ripple I'm going to pitch a little bit to my left and since the water's moving really fast, it's going to push it down. I'm going to keep it moving and try not to get stuck. Let's see if there's one there in the middle. Pitch it out. Keep it moving. Nothing there. A quick ripple like this is not a spot where you want to stay at for a long period of time. All right, you pitch maybe once, twice get in get out it's not going to be a spot where you're going to see fish uh locked and loaded in there normally i look for some deeper water more push towards the bank or if you had a stream like this today where it's shallow you can see it's a little bit more deeper in the middle so we're going to cast out to the other side and slowly work our way through sometimes i really like to see um, the slower water here at the end of a ripple All right fish like that oxygen they like to stay in there so i'll throw the nedrig in there um, Normally right after that riffle, there's always a nice deep pocket where you could catch fish. In terms of size, you mean? No, it's not small. It's a good fish, man. What I'm going to do here, since there's all this grass around here, I'm going to walk out to where it's open, give him less to walk into, so when I net him, not as much as around. Just hear him taking drag. He's a good fish. As soon as it hit the water. Nice fish, Kevin. That's a nice fish. Got to tire this guy out. Nice fish, Kevin. This is why we do this, guys. For moments like this. Even a 
on this heavy. That's a nice cabin. Oh, hey. That is a nice That's fish. That's not a bad fish. No, that is not a bad fish. Let's take a look at this guy. Heck of a fish there. Heck of a fish. Not a bad fish at all, Kevin. Not a bad fish at all. So with some of these bigger smallmouth, um, they give you a better fight, which is exerting a lot of their energy. So sometimes when you want to release them, all right, you'll bring them back into like shallower water. You can set them in and help give them oxygen. He's fighting, he's ready to go. Sorry, it's a little murky, but you can see him going off. That's a healthy fish. He's gonna be here for a long time.